What is... Holy cow, that is very big. That's majestic. God, if I knew what it was like to be aroused, I'd probably be halfway there. It's like a juicy little cave of ju Okay, seriously guys, focus here. Could someone please tell me why my astronaut training was interrupted to find out that my restaurant is all over the YouTubes? Do you guys put it on YouTube? Fall Out Boy's a pervert. You made it to YouTube. I have a baby. You are no like way. Guys. Ah, silence, Paige. Use your big boy words. Uh, sir, we are just so passionate about what we do, and sometimes those passions spill into our work. We're all guilty of that. So, if you want to blame someone, you should blame all of us for caring too much. Everyone's so brave. A team of heroes. A bunch of little hero soldiers. <laughs> I've got a solution. You're all fired! No, no Paige, what are you doing? I, you can't because you will not have any staff when you try to sell the restaurant. You son of a... Okay. You're all unfired. But you two, how would you two like to learn a lesson by working in the kitchen? But we already work... Shut up. And you, Milo, camera dude, girls gone boy, or whatever. How would you like to manage a restaurant? Oh, what? Well, sure, I got a few ideas. What? Ah, Paige, how about you maybe doing some serving? Maybe that'll teach you something I like to call responsibilities. Ah, elephant vulvas, I left my nephew in the zero gravity chamber too long. He's gonna turn inside out, you know. Milo, you get this bad boy going ship shape, okay there, Tiger? Yes, sir. <sighs> what the? But I wouldn't give her that old time feeling. Just a little taste of that old time cheese spread. Just a little taste of that old time cheese spread. Well, well, looks like the shoe is on the other foot. You never stocked drinks when you were a server. I did that. Well, well, looks like the chickens have come home to roost. How are you so smug? You went all Roman Polanski on your friends and you screwed me out of my job. Paige, don't be bitter because you're just a stupid server now. The second spoon you knew is gone and from its ashes will rise a phoenix that is underground, European, and supportive of local indie music. Right. Well, let's see how you deal with all the little problems I've dealt with over the past few years. I'm done making you look good. If you want to manage, manage. <laughs> well, well. Uh, it looks like you're... Restack those. Turkey burgers? Organic omelets? Disgusting. Vegan specials? We're gonna be catering to more niche markets. People without taste buds? This isn't food. This is revenge for all the times I made fun of your sickeningly tight pants. Oh, Conrad. Revenge is so beneath me. This is just fun. You can't push us around. That's right. Me and Janice? We'll do whatever we want, wherever we want. Also, we'll be having sex. Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. It is? Yeah. I like that you guys are dating. You make such a cute couple. Milo's a genius. What the hell are you talking about? It's not dangerous anymore. I'm no longer attracted to you. I think we should break up. Son of a... I don't understand. I'm kicking you out, Chesterfield. But I'm your best customer. I'm here every single day. I even helped upload that porno that made you dictator of this restaurant. And I'll never forget it but we're aiming for a younger demographic 
here at S squared. That's the new name, by the way. S squared. More like SS, as in Hitler. First, they came for the chefs, and I did nothing. Then, they came for the servers, and again, I did nothing. Then they came for the good-looking, handsome coffee... Get out! Any customers yet? Other than the families, seniors, and disabled people you turned away? I already explained. We need this place to be underground. Hip. Secret. So secret that nobody knows it's a restaurant. Got it. It will turn around. You'll see. I think I'm gonna leave early tonight. Think you can handle all these customers by yourself? Good night. S squared.